New questions now about tens of billions of dollars in federal grants. National correspondent Christine Frizzau reports an investigation focused on the National Institutes of Health and its royalty payments is underway. After more than two years now of dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, questions remain about government agencies that specialize in science. Some of those questions surround how decisions are made at the National Institutes of Health. The idea that people have a financial benefit from certain research that's been done and grants that were awarded, that to me is the height of the appearance of a conflict of interest. While the director of NIH admitted there could be an appearance of a conflict of interest, he insisted there are firewalls in place to separate functions. No individual who is in a decision-making role on a particular product would um, have benefited from being the inventor of that product. The government watchdog group Open the Book said Freedom of Information Act requests were ignored, having to rely on a lawsuit, finally receiving what CEO Adam Andrzejewski says was heavily redacted information. Why is NIH hiding the payments, the names of the payers, think pharmaceutical companies, the payments to the individual scientists. These five Republican senators now laying out concerns over billions of dollars in federal grants in a letter to the NIH requesting more information about which government doctors and researchers have a financial interest in drugs and products they support and whether a relationship exists between federal grants awarded by the NIH and royalty payments received. One of the best ways to deal with potential conflicts of interest is just disclosure. And that's what we're trying to get here. Who's been getting the payments? I mean, who, who, who's being paid? How much? Who's it going to? And for what? You know, let's just, let's see it. Constantly changing information over the last couple years during the pandemic has reinvigorated calls from lawmakers to shine a spotlight on what some see as a revolving door between government agencies doling out the money and private companies receiving it. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting. A new report from the Department of Health and Human Services found more than two-thirds of grantees failed to meet the requirements when disclosing funds from foreign countries. NIH awarded $31 billion worth of grants in fiscal 2020.